My first question is, could you recall for us how the high school was established? It was in early 1988 when the Dallas IAT superintendent and the Dallas district chancellor and other interested individuals were concerned that there was a group of students who were high achieving, but that had some challenges and were dropping out of high school. So a delegation of us uh, went to uh, New York to tour the middle college at LaGuardia Community College. We were impressed. Uh, it was a high achieving institution. The students were uh, highly motivated. And when we came back, it was the general conclusion that we should start such an activity here in Dallas. And because I was the president of El Centro, and many of the students who were at the Middle College High School in LaGuardia were African American and Hispanic inner city students. They thought the best place for this would be El Central College. It was a little difficult for the first two or three years. And then began, we began to show the faculty and others the good work that the students w were doing. And why did you believe personally that it was important to build a middle college high school at El Centro? Well, uh, I grew up in Mississippi during the era of segregation. And I saw the challenges that persons of color, particularly at that time African Americans, uh, faced. And I became convinced that wherever there was an occasion to provide an opportunity for students, that opportunity should be addressed. And so I felt that this was something that I should do. And as Paul Harvey would say, uh, you know the rest of the story. It has turned out to be a very good venture. Look at all of you. <laughs>